This is Corlette DeVoe, your Senior Living Consultant. Welcome to 2024. Yes! And the continuation of our series, Your Roadmap to Managing Assisted Living Facilities. Every Thursday for eight weeks, we will bring you weekly insights. And our goal is to provide tips on managing an assisted living facility and ways to help you run your facility more efficiently. Our topic this week is staffing. Staffing. Yes, nobody likes staffing in this industry. And we know that staffing issues significantly impacts the success and efficiency of any facility. You know that your facility cannot run without staff to care for your residents. Unfortunately, that is the case. So let me share with you some results from a 2023 leading age workforce poll with over 891 facility providers. Here's what we found out from that study. 70% of the providers said that they are still experiencing a workforce shortage. Two, according to these facility providers, the most difficult positions to fill were registered nurses, LPNs, and CNAs. And three, sadly, the reason staff left, they wanted better pay, they were burnt out, and they wanted better work schedule. And four, these same facility providers said that because they lost their employees so often, they implemented their own recruitment and retention tactics to resolve their staffing issues. And here are some of the things that they said they did. 92% of them said, listen, we had to increase the hourly wages because we didn't want to continue losing our staff. 69% of them actually offered sign-on bonuses. 61% of them said that they developed creative scheduling to help keep their staff. They had to be creative and come up with something that was going to work for the facility and for the staff. And they also said that they actually offered career advancement opportunities. So when staff is with you, they might want to have an opportunity to get promoted, to increase their responsibilities. This advanced opportunity to get promoted is a way to show employees that they are valued and to encourage them to stay with you longer. Now consider this. Many facilities have resorted to using the staffing agency. I know you have considered it and you may have done it. Well, what happens is with these agencies, you tend to pay much more for the staff and the quality of work from these agencies members may not be better. Actually, in some cases it is worse and you tend to lose your staff members more frequently if you get them from an agency. So consider recruiting and hiring your own staff. Now, here are some ways to improve your staff retention in your facility. The first thing I recommend, follow the state guidelines. They give you recommendation and guidelines about staff to resident ratio. Follow them. Ensure that you have appropriate staff levels for the right amount of residents and staff because what will happen is if you don't, you put your facility at risk, you put the, the residents at risk, and you'll also burn out your staff and they will leave you. Number two, establish a creative work schedule. The same work schedule that works for another facility down the street may not work for yours. So establish a creative work schedule that works for your facility, but also for your staff. And number three, assign tasks and responsibilities to everyone because I will tell you someone needs to own it everyone needs to know what their job is and what their responsibilities are this will reduce overlapping of responsibilities it will minimize errors and it will minimize stress and four offer competitive salary don't be afraid to pay what the your competitors are paying and listen don't be afraid to pay an extra 25 cents it's not going to break you, but it may make a difference in your staff's loyalty and commitment to your facility. And number five, I can't say this enough. Reward excellence. Everyone wants to hear the words, great job. If a staff member does something well, is consistent with something, or even shows kindness in a difficult situation, go to them and say, thank you. I noticed that you did that. I appreciate that. Give them a, a simple reward like a card or a pair of movie tickets or a gift card for lunch. 
Every little bit helps. Small things make a difference in making your staff members feel valued. And the last thing I'm going to recommend to help retain your staff is communication. The way you speak to your staff makes a difference in how you are perceived and how they feel. Yes, 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 we know you're the boss, but kindness, courtesy, and respect in your communication to your staff goes a long way. You don't have to exert your power. Show kindness, be respectful, and that will make the difference in your staff staying with you. The right staff is going to make a big difference in the success of your facility. So treat your staff well, and they will stay with you and help build your facility's reputation and longevity. So focus on the things that will help your staff stay with you long-term. Remember what we said, pay them competitively, establish a creative work schedule that works for your facility and for your staff. Ensure that you have the right amount of staff members to work every shift to reduce burnout and liability to your facility. And finally, treat your staff well, treat them with respect in everything that you do, and they will appreciate it and stay with you. This is Corlette DeVoe, your Senior Living Consultant. If you have any questions, you can DM me or visit our website at dgincorporated.com for more information. I will see you next week.